thing truckers are interested in is how fast their trucks will go and how far their CBs will reach. Well, hello, big riggers. Thanks for joining me, Jim Campbell, as we talk about all things trucking. Memorial Day weekend will soon be upon us, and that brings up a serious issue that's affecting our supply chains, and that is cargo theft. This isn't a story about dramatic heists from the movies. It's a real problem happening every day across the country, impacting businesses and consumers alike. According to CargoNet, a firm that monitors cargo theft, there were 925 incidents of cargo theft in the first three months of 2024. That's a staggering 46% increase compared to the same period last year and a 10% increase from the last quarter of 2023. In monetary terms, CargoNet estimates that nearly $155 million worth of cargo was stolen during the first quarter of this year. That's a serious amount of lost product. So, why is cargo theft on the rise? The reasons are many, mostly involving vulnerabilities in the supply chain, advancements in technology, and economic factors. Firstly, let's look at the supply chain itself. The supply chain has been under immense pressure recently, dealing with a range of challenges from global disruptions to labor shortages. Truck drivers, who play a crucial role in the supply chain, often have to make stops for rest, food, or fuel. During these stops, their cargo becomes vulnerable. Thieves are getting more sophisticated, using technology to track shipments and even intercept communications between drivers and dispatchers. A common scenario involves a driver taking a mandated rest break at a truck stop. While the driver is away from the vehicle, thieves take the opportunity to break into the trailer and steal valuable goods. Often, these crimes go unnoticed until the driver reaches the destination, only to discover part of the load is missing. This not only disrupts the delivery schedule, but also incurs a serious financial loss for the shipping company and usually a claim filed against the trucking yep, company very, and their very, insurance. Very, very careful out there. I remember one time in particular, um, I was I was tired, dog tired. I pulled over into a pickle park. It was a good sized pickle park. Kicked the shoes off, you know, climbed back in the bunk, get me some sleep. I was just starting to get into La La Land and somebody knocking on my door. So I climbed back in the driver's seat, looked out, and here's a guy standing there. He goes, hey, man, was that you that called me? I said, no. Called you about what? Oh, about a flat tire. See, you got a flat tire back there. That's why I figured it must have been you. I said, no, it wasn't me. He goes, well, I'll show you where it's at. You want me to show it to you? I said, no, I'm good. You go ahead, man. I'm I'm, I'm good. You go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out later. I watched me in the mirror. I'm slowly getting my wits about me because I'm now I'm waking up. I'm watching him walk back. I light up a cigarette. I'm thinking, I bet that guy was going to try to hit me upside the head. Let me get out of the truck, hit me upside the head, and rob me is what he was up to. I finished my cigarette, got dressed, put my boots on, grabbed my little uh, Louisville Slugger, and walked walk down and checked it. I didn't have no flat tire. You know, I was right. It was just him trying to get me out of my truck to probably, you know, hit me upside the head. But you got to be careful out there. Always have a worry eye, you know, of, of, you know, what people might try to do to you or scam you or and you always got to be paying attention. Can never let your guard down. Stolen cargo, whether electronics, clothing or other high demand items can quickly be sold through various online platforms. This high demand for stolen goods incentivizes thieves to continue their activities, knowing there are buyers ready to purchase these items at a fraction of their retail value. Truck stops and rest areas, essential for drivers to take necessary breaks, often lack adequate security measures. Poor lighting, minimal surveillance, and vast parking areas make it easy for thieves to operate without being detected. Additionally, often drivers are totally exhausted and may not pay as much attention to their surroundings as they should, further increasing the risk of theft. Cargo theft is definitely, definitely hard to fight and nearly impossible to stomp out. But uh, the only thing you can do is try to deter it the best you can, you know, by having those heavy padlocks on the back. Now, I know that, you know, somebody can come up, snip, snip, whatever, but having that lock on her, he's gonna, at least it's going to deter. So it's not going to stop out everybody trying to get in your trailer but it'll cut out a certain segment. And that's what we're trying to do, deter some of the theft. Make sure you have a, a nice thick lock on the back of that trailer, a kingpin lock, so somebody just can't, 
you know, back that fifth wheel underneath of it and take that trailer, you know, with them. Uh, or, or something, e even a glad hand lock, so they can't lock onto it, you know. And try to park in a, a well-lit, safe, secure area that's well-lit. Thieves are like cockroaches. You flick that light on and they scatter. But always try to park in a safe, safe place. Something you should do. Whenever you're in a truck stop or wherever you happen to be at, if you can back that trailer, if it's all the way against the fence, you know, so that, you know, somebody can't open the doors up because you got it back too far against that fence. Or a lot of times poles, light poles will be up. And you can back that trailer, right, you know, so so the middle of it where that pole is, and they can't pop, they can't open those doors. You know, but whenever you can do that, that's just one more one more nice deterrent to have. Another significant factor is the staffing issue within the trucking industry itself. The shortage of drivers means those on the road are working longer hours under more stressful conditions. With the pressure to meet tight delivery schedules, drivers may sometimes cut corners on security practices. Moreover, not all drivers receive sufficient training on how to secure their loads or recognize potential threats. Insurance companies are also feeling the impact. As cargo theft incidents rise, so do the payouts for stolen goods. This increase in claims drives up insurance premiums for shipping companies, which in turn can lead to higher costs for consumers. It's a vicious cycle where everyone ends up paying more due to the actions of a few criminals. But it's not all bleak news. There are concerted efforts underway to combat cargo theft. Companies are investing in advanced security technologies such as GPS tracking, tamper evidence seals, and onboard cameras. These tools help monitor shipments in real time and can alert drivers and dispatchers to potential tampering. Training programs are also being implemented to educate drivers on the best practices for securing their cargo and recognizing suspicious behavior. Law enforcement agencies have formed special task forces to address cargo theft, working closely with the trucking industry to share information and develop strategies to prevent thefts. These collaborative efforts have led to several arrests of theft rings and the recovery of stolen goods. Advanced analytics and artificial intelligence are being utilized to predict theft patterns and identify high-risk areas. By analyzing data from previous thefts, companies can plan safer routes and schedules for their shipments. This proactive approach helps reduce the chances of theft and ensures that cargo reaches its destination securely. Despite these efforts, the battle against cargo theft is ongoing. It requires constant monitoring, investment in security, and cooperation between everyone in the supply chain. For drivers, this means being aware of their surroundings, following security protocols, and reporting any suspicious activities. For companies, it means investing in the latest technologies and ensuring their teams are well trained. In conclusion, cargo theft is a serious issue that affects us all, from businesses to consumers. By understanding the scope of the problem and the measures being taken to address it, we can all play a part in making our supply chains more secure. Thank you for listening and stay safe out there. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye. I can't hardly wait till I'm a trucker.